Guys, Ed Walters, Traffic Golf Centre here in Manchester. And in response to a question from Jerry, uh, one of my YouTube subscribers, about how to hit a draw and the ball position for the one playing golf swing, I thought, well, we've done the draw, so let's do the fade. So let's look at the ball position on how to hit the fade within the one playing golf swing. And again, it goes down to personal preference. So this will be my personal preference. And you know, again, there's a little bit like with the draw, there's a few different ways that you want to do it. Some people will open their body, so it'll be moving the ball, or aiming the club face at the target, opening the body up massively there, so that as they're swinging and coming across it, the club face is putting loads of cut spin on, so you get the shape that way. Um, I find, again, a little bit like with the draw, it's difficult to control the amount of spin. Now, the one thing about hitting it with a draw or a fade is we want to control it. We want the ball to finish on target. So a little bit like with the draw, I'm not going to move the ball a massive amount in my stance. So if I took my normal ball position again, again, I've got my seven iron here. Well, I'm actually only going to roll it one roll forward. So from there, I've got that one roll forward there. And then I'm actually just going to, I'm going to fractionally open the club face. And when I say fractionally, it's a tiny little bit, you know, we're looking at a normal square club face position. Well, it's there, it's a, you know, if I could measure it, it's probably five degrees maybe. It's not a massive amount. So from there, I'm just going to keep the club face there, but I'm going to hold my hands off through impact. It's a term that you might hear on the TV. It's a term that you might hear commentators going through. Um, holding the club face off is just not releasing it. I'm just going to hold the club face position through the swing. So I'm not going to release the hands, I'm not going to over-release them like I would do if I was hitting a draw. I'm going to hold the club face off so I can keep the club face looking at the target and just apply that little bit of cut spin. So again, like with the draw where the ball was moving maybe between 6 and 10 feet through the air, I want it the same but in the opposite direction. So when I'm taking my aim, I'm aiming to the left side of the fairway to, to let it fade back in the left half of the green to let it fade back in. I'm not trying to overdo the amount of movement that I've got. So, I'm just gonna hit a couple of shots in that manner now. So if we get normal setup position, I've got my ball position a little forward. Now I'm gonna roll it just into that position for the fade. I'm still aiming in the same spot. I've got the club face a fraction open. It's only a tiny bit. Don't lay the club face open there because you're gonna just apply too much spin. So it's a tiny little bit more than I would normally have it. And then I'm just gonna hold my hand, hold the club face through the impact so I can apply that little bit of cut spin. Okay. Perfect. You know, it's moving maybe three yards through the air. Notice the finish position. I've continued to hold the club face off. I haven't released it all the way around as normal. I've held the club face in that position there. That means that I know that I've applied the cut spin. One of the big things that we see when people are trying to hit fades is they double cross it. They flip the hands over and it goes straight left or even left going further left. So for me, if I was to hold my hands in this position, holding my finish, I know I've not flipped it over. So I know when I look and find my ball in the air that it's going to start drifting a little bit with a fade. Okay, let's do that once more. So normal ball position. Now I'm going to roll it forward a fraction. Remember to move your feet when you're on the golf course because you're not allowed to roll it forward. Don't tell them I said so. Cut face open a little bit, just a fraction again. And then make that normal swing and just hold the club face open through the impact area and into your finish as well. Perfect. Again, it's moved exactly the same amount. It's moving, you know, three yards, four yards through the air. So I know if I hit it to the intended area, it's going to finish there about on my target. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Uh, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, the link is at the bottom of the screen. So you can always follow that link there and subscribe for more great content. You can catch me on social media. The link's at the end of the video. And I look forward to seeing you guys again next time.